रिकॉर्डिंग स्टार्ट हो गया है क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व फायर इंश्योरेंस क्लेम करेक्ट सिक्सटीन मार्च फायर इंश्योरेंस क्लेम क्या होता है ये टॉपिक में क्या आप बता सकते हैं फायर इंश्योरेंस क्लेम चैप्टर में होता क्या है आंसर वेरी सिंपल फायर एज टेकन प्लेस एंड इट एज डिस्ट्रॉयड स्टॉक ऑफ गुड्स इन द फैक्ट्री तो प्रॉब्लम क्या है प्रॉब्लम कुछ नहीं है हमें इंश्योरेंस क्लेम करनी है तो करो ना अरे क्या करो in the fire what was the total stock at the time of fire what was the total stock lying in the factory we are not aware oh that is a question yes all books of account mainly stock register is burnt so we were not knowing how much was the total stock lying in the factory at the time of fire that we have to find first after that we have to find out what loss is suffered and then finally we make an insurance claim theek okay? hai With this background, ये background के साथ, let's look at this particular question. A fire occurred in the premises of Bipin on 15th August 2007. So हमारे लिए date of fire is 15 August 2007. Considerable part of the stock was destroyed, but not necessary. in the fire always all the goods are burnt some goods may be saved we call it a salvage to that extent loss has not taken place so the salvage was 15000 following information was available from the books of account all sales and purchases are on credit amount received are deposited in the bank and payments are made by check as per this bank passbook he deposited One lakh six thousand three hundred, and withdrew one lakh thirty thousand up to the date of fire. He sold on first July two thousand seven for ten thousand. Debentures at par, which were purchased on first January two thousand four. Interest on debentures at par, which were received in the account on thirtieth June two thousand seven, amounted to three hundred. He purchased plant costing thirty five thousand on thirty first May two thousand seven. Paid installation charges one thousand. Other business expenses were paid up to the date of fire four lakh of uh, uh, sorry four thousand. Amount used by Bipin was three thousand before depositing in the bank. Goods costing five thousand were used by Bipin and goods at sale price five hundred was given to Arun in settlement of his repairing charges, but not so far recorded. Stock in the beginning. Datas on first January, datas on fifteenth January, ah fifteenth August, credit on first January, credit on fifteen August. On investigation, it was found that rate of GP is thirty three one by three percent. The policy is fifty thousand. Policy amount fifty. Claim was subject to an average close. I hope all of you got the question. If you don't have question, take the screenshot. वेल सो वट इज अवर टेक्निक हम कैसे करते हैं यू नो वी प्रीपेयर मेमोरेंडम ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट फ्रॉम वट डेट टू वट डेट फर्स्ट डे ऑफ द ईयर विच इज फर्स्ट जनवरी टू थाउजेंड सेवन टू द डेट ऑफ फायर फिफ्टीन ऑगस्ट आप भी स्टार्ट करो जरा आप भी स्टार्ट करिए ठीक है सो वी प्रीपेयर मेमोरेंडम ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट जनवरी टू फिफ्टीन ऑगस्ट इट्स अबाउट एट लाइन मेमोरेंडम ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट यू नो द यूजल आइटम्स आर ओपनिंग स्टॉक Which date? First January. Second 
purchases sales as far as opening stock is concerned adjustment number 8 very clearly says opening stock was 40000 मेन क्वेश्चन ये है अब परचेज सेल्स बताओ कैसे लाएंगे टेल मी परचेज एंड सेल्स कैसे लाएंगे पहले वो बताइए ग्रेटर्स एंड क्रेडिटर्स बिल्कुल सही फॉर परचेज आई प्रिपेयर अ क्रेडिटर्स अकाउंट एंड फॉर सेल्स आई विल प्रिपेयर अ डेटर्स अकाउंट बिल्कुल सही सो so, मुझे वर्किंग में परचेज फाइंड करने के लिए सप्लायर अकाउंट कैलकुलेट करना बनाना पड़ेगा सो लेट्स मेक इट ओके सो टू फाइंड परचेज इज रिपेयर सप्लायर अकाउंट ये बताइए सप्लायर में क्रेडिटर्स में What are the usual transaction? Suppliers are liable. Opening payable. Purchases made. I get total payable. We get total payable. Samne payments made. and we get closing payable so this are my usual supply as transaction opening payable purchase made total payable payment made closing payable bataiye ye jo four transactions hai supply as account which are the amount directly given of this four which amount is directly given opening closing ha you are directly given opening creditor and closing creditor so opening creditors 35000 and the closing creditors 30000 ab mujhe aur ek amount likhna padega जैसे ही मैंने वो अमाउंट लिख दिया मैं परचेजेस को बैलेंसिंग फिगर फाइंड करेगा दिस इज हाउ वी यूज टू प्रिपेयर इन इवन सिंगल एंट्री चैप्टर अकाउंट फ्रॉम इनकम्प्लीट रिकॉर्ड अब मुझे क्या लिखना है क्या कैलकुलेट करना है वट एल्स वी वॉन्ट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर अकाउंट नाउ पेमेंट में पेमेंट में पेमेंट में रीड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली फ्रॉम Where will you get the payment to supplier creditor? Read the question carefully. From where will you get the payment to supplier? So, आप देखिए, payment to supplier कैसे मिलेंगे? All sales and purchases are on credit. ठीक है. Amount received are deposited in the bank and payments are made by check. So, बताइए हम लोग सप्लायर को कैसे पेमेंट करते हैं चेक से बिकॉज पेमेंट सबमिट बाय चेक ओके नाउ ध्यान से सुनना एस पर इस बैंक पासबुक ही डिपोजिटेड इन द बैंक वन लैख सिक्स थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड विदड्रॉ वन लैख थर्टी अप टू द डेट ऑफ फायर क्या बता सकते हैं पेमेंट टू सप्लायर कितना होगा क्या आप बता सकते हैं पेमेंट टू सप्लायर चेक में लिखना है well, हमारा पहला आंसर जो माइंड में आता है कि पेमेंट टू सप्लायर वन लैख थर्टी है ठीक है दैट इज अ फर्स्ट आंसर कमिंग इन अवर माइंड वेल आई विल एक्सेप्ट दैट आंसर बट यदि आप आगे पढ़ के वन लैख थर्टी आपने क्यों बोला क्योंकि टोटल पेमेंट फ्रॉम द बैंक वन लैख थर्टी है टोटल विड्रोवल फ्रॉम द बैंक वन लैख थर्टी है तो आपने नोइंगली और अनोइंगली एक डिफॉल्ट एजम्सन कर दिया कि बैंक से जितना भी पैसा गया है वॉट एवर मनी हैज गॉन आउट फ्रॉम द बैंक 
all the payment is made to supplier. Knowingly or unknowingly, you made one default assumption that whatever payment has gone from the bank, that all has gone to supplier. Okay, I'll accept it. I believe it. I that I have the payment the bank, I have assumed that the supplier is the supplier. But now, read further. Read further. आगे आपको ऐसा कुछ प्रूफ मिलता है एविडेंस मिलता है कि पर्टिकुलर पेमेंट हैज नॉट गोन टू सप्लायर फॉर परचेस ऑफ गुड्स यदि रीडिंग फर्दर इफ यू कैन गेट सम एविडेंस अबाउट द पेमेंट मेड व्हिच हैज नॉट गोन टू सप्लायर फॉर परचेस ऑफ गुड्स आई विल एक्सेप्ट इट दैट मच अमाउंट आई विल टेक आउट फ्रॉम 130 क्या बोला मैंने मैंने एक डिफॉल्ट एजम्पशन लिया है कि ऑल द पेमेंट from the bank 1 lakh 30 is made to the supplier that assumption maine liya hai but you read further if you find any payment but not made to supplier bring to me give me that evidence i'll accept it or oh, 130 shall take out that much let's read further adjustment fee to sale of debenture hai that is collection ke bare mein main collection ke bare mein nahi bol raha hu main payment ke bare mein bol raha hu so read further Adjustment three, leave it. Go for adjustment four. He purchased plant costing thirty five thousand and paid installation charges. But I ye ye paise kahan se gaye hai? Kya ye paise? Whether this money is paid to supplier? No. That means one lakh thirty ka jo bhi total payment hua hai. Definitely not all the payment is. Gone to supplier. But I might me bolke which payment has not gone to supplier for purchase of goods. Ekjan might me bolo which payment is not 36,000. Yes, for purchase of plant and installation has not gone to supplier for purchase of goods. I'll accept that. Read next also. Other business expenses were paid up to the date of file 4,000. Kya ye paise? Whether this money has gone to supplier? No, no, sir. No, this has not gone to supplier. I'll accept that. So, 1 lakh 30 may say 35,000 for plant, 1,000 for installation charges, and other business expenses have not gone to supplier. Again, amount used by BP in before depositing in the bank. This is collection. We have to do collection kiya hoga na, that we deposit in the bank. But here problem is collection. Instead of depositing in the bank, BP proprietor has taken home. But that's a collection. We don't do it. We payment back. Goods costing 5,000 were used by BP and sale price 500 given to Arun for settlement of his repairing charges. This is goods. It's not about payment. It's not about payment. It's not That's it. There's nothing else. So, see, you can start with me. You start writing. Calculation of payments to suppliers. Suppliers matlab kya hota hai? Creditors. Total payment from bank one lakh thirty less not paid. To suppliers but used not paid to suppliers for goods.
or chase of land. Installation expense. या आपने 36 का दिया था पहले अभी ठीक है मैं 35 था ना प्लांट 35 है एंड 1000 इंस्टॉलेशन है ठीक है So the answer is 90,000. So we will write 90,000. So credit purchase balancing will be done. So what are your original purchases? Eighty-five thousand. Purchase is eighty-five thousand. Same way, मुझे बताइए सेम पे व्हाट डू आई डू टू फाइंड सेल्स डेटा सकॉन्ट बनेगा यस कस्टमर्स डेटा सकॉन्ट बनाइए टू फाइंड सेल्स You know, data spray, usable transaction, opening receivable, sales amount receivable, total receivable. Some money collected and the closing receivable. In data account, the usual minimum transactions are opening receivable. Credit sale receivable, money collected, and closing receivable. Tell me, what's opening receivable? Opening receivable are 11,000, 2500. 2500 opening receivable, 11,000 is closing receivable. Write down. 2500 and 11,000. Twenty five hundred and eleven thousand. Now, which amount I want, which amount we should write so that sale can be the balancing figure? Collection. Collection, Collection from customer. Calculation of collection from customer.
बोलिए क्या आप बता सकते हैं कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कलेक्शन फ्रॉम कस्टमर कैसे कैलकुलेट करूं क्या बता सकते हैं कैलकुलेशन वापस बोलिए बैंक ओके फिर उसमें ऐड सो 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 जितना भी वन लैख सिक्स थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड हमने बैंक से भरा है बैंक के अंदर भरा है और इसमें बेसिक एसम्सन कलेक्शन कस्टमर मैंने एक एजम्सन लिया है आई टेकन वन एजम्सन की वॉट एवर मनी वी हैव डिपोजिटेड इन द बैंक ऑल द मनी हेज कम फ्रॉम द कस्टमर But suppose reading further, you can get me some evidence whereby clearly there is some receipt, but that is not from customer for sale of goods. I'll accept that evidence and I'll take out that from one lakh six thousand three hundred. What did I say? I say that all the money what I've deposited one lakh six thousand three hundred are collection from customer. But if you can accept and if you can give me some evidence, no, this particular money is not from customer. I'll accept that. Bully. What about number three? He sold on first July two thousand seven rupees ten thousand debentures at par, which were purchased on first January, and interest on debenture at par, which were received three hundred. Tell me, adjustment three is that money from customer? No sir. No sir. What do I do? Sir, उसको deduct कर देंगे उसमें. Yeah, I have to take out. Hmm. I thought incorrectly earlier. All one lakh six thousand three hundred is from customer, but you are giving me evidence something has come from sale of debenture and interest. I accepted that. ठीक है. Adjustment four five तो payment के बारे में just keep out. Go for six. What is six? Six बताइए. Sir, three जो है ना. Okay. One lakh six thousand three hundred minus ten thousand minus three hundred. That becomes ninety six thousand. आगे बोलिए. What is adjustment number six? ये क्या है? Amount used by between three thousand rupees before depositing in the bank. See, all this money has gone in the bank. In addition to that, what has happened to three thousand? Between has taken home. अरे वो taken home बाद में की बात है. From where the money came? But वो बताओ. पैसे कहाँ से आए? Collection from the debtor. Obviously, we have a default assumption. All the money is from customer, so this three thousand is also from customer. But of course, not deposited in the bank. But the money has come. So tell me, what is total collection from customer? Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. But me adjustment seven to goods ka eight to kuch nahi hai. So let's write it. Ninety-nine is right answer. चलिए टोटल डिपोजिटेड इन द बैंक not from customers so what is this 96000 customer the This is received from customers and deposited in bank. Is me? Can I add that? Two 
add what? Received from customers, but not deposited in bank. So, kahan gaya? Used by BP. BP na apne ghar pe leke gaya. What is that money? That is three thousand. So, what is this ninety nine thousand? Total receipt from customers. So total deposited in the bank one lakh six thousand three hundred. Lick dia, get me the sales. मुझे आप सेल्स निकाल के दो सो टोटल रिसीट फ्रॉम कस्टमर Eighty nine five hundred. Eighty nine five hundred. Liko sales. Let's see remaining adjustment. Adjustment one over, two over, three over, four over, five over, six over, seven per chalo, kalika, seventh one. Seventh me kai. Goods costing 5,000 were used by BPIN. You know, BPIN has withdrawn goods costing 5,000 home. And goods of sale price 500 was given to Arun in settlement of his repairing charges but not so far recorded but our watchman case up says so chokyakal think like a watchman and write it on the chat what do i do think like a watchman write on the chat a bit of the answer me i think like watchman and tell me what do i do write in the chat all 25 people has replied correctly but few of you have written the wrong amount goods have gone out is right so it will come in the trading account credit side what price it should come without exception it should come at cost without exception it should come at cost so by goods withdrawn cost by goods withdrawn cost yaad kar liya watchman ka rule in at cost out at cost ha ye bhi cost hota hai kaise kyunki sales ke samne hum gp likhte hai na तो ये भी तो कॉस्ट बन जाता है ठीक है हियर बाय गुड्स 
गिव वन टू अरुण तो क्यों दिया हमको क्या करना है बट अमाउंट क्या होगा अमाउंट सेल वैल्यू फाइव हंड्रेड है बताओ इसमें क्या करो भी एडजस्टमेंट टेल मी सेल वैल्यू फाइव हंड्रेड है तो उसमें से वन थर्ड जीपी हटा दो बताओ कितना होता है फाइव हंड्रेड का वन थर्ड फाइव हंड्रेड का वन थर्ड हटा दो फाइव हंड्रेड का वन थर्ड हटा दो जीपी रेशियो इज वन थर्ड अपॉन सेल थ्री थर्टी थ्री कॉस्ट है नो एक्सेप्शन विदाउट एक्सेप्शन कॉस्ट पर लिखना है सो ये सेल वैल्यू है तो लेस जीपी ये तो ऑलरेडी कॉस्ट है सो नो वरी जीपी रेशियो वन थर्ड ऑफ सेल कितनी क्लोजिंग स्टॉक एज ए बैलेंसिंग फिगर गेट मी क्लोजिंग स्टॉक एज ए बैलेंसिंग फिगर सर सिक्सटी थाउजेंड कितना ही है सिक्सटी थाउजेंड करेक्ट सो क्लोजिंग स्टॉक बैलेंसिंग फिगर सिक्सटी थाउजेंड और मेन वर्क इज ओवर चले वॉट एल्स वी टू डू इन द सेम सम दे इज अमाउंट ऑफ पॉलिसी फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड दे इज अल वेज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सो डू द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन कैलक्यूलेट calculation of loss of stock total stock on the fire date is 60000 loss of stock calculation of insurance claim kitna hai policy amount fifty thousand was his total stock क्या कंक्लूजन निकला वॉट इज योर कंक्लूजन अंडर इंश्योरेंस यस
So policy among this. 50. And loss of stock in time. 45. Acha, ye jo proportionate amount lete hai na because there is under insurance. That rule. That rule is known as what? Average close ka rule. So, what is it now? 4 we go for 1616 number 16 sum if it is completed right or forward in the chat okay yeah go for 16 one six but use mohit they are all there one six. Anchita, Centering Club, they are all there with me. A six in some. A fire occurred in the premises of low luck traders twice during the accounting year 2005-06. Cup Cup, 31st July, and again on 30 November. Very bad luck. Twice fire. From the following particulars, calculate the claim to be lodged in respect of goods lost by fire on the above mentioned dates. Stock on March 5. March 5 is last year closing, current year opening, 990. Purchase. From 1st April to 31st July, first fire, 35.60, but that included furniture. Kya karenge furniture ko? Hata denge, minus kar denge. Sales from 1st April to 31st July, first fire. Then purchase from 1st August to 30 November, 50-50 of which goods 105 were received on 10 December. Second fire. Sales for the period 1st August to 30 November amounted to 60-60 of which sale on sale or return. One lakh, second fire. No intimation was received from the customer in respect of 60% of goods sold on approval. Information regarding sales and gross profit of last years were as follow. March 3, March 4, March 5. Sales and GP. In the beginning of current year, the selling price was raised by 20%. So current year, we are increasing the sale price. So whatever GP we calculate for last year, as it is, I cannot use in the current year because the prices have changed. Closing stock of March 5 was undervalued by 10,000. Before I go further, this key impact kaha kaha aegi bataiye. March 5 is just the last year. So 2004, 2004 and 5 ka closing stock mad hoga, or 5 6 me opening stock mad hoga. Anything else? Well, GP me me part, one minute. that much part is right. Ki whatever is March 5 ka closing stock, you want March 5 ka closing stock 990. Usme 10,000 I will add because that's undervalued. So last year closing stock will change and current year opening stock will change. I agree. But because the last year's closing stock was wrong, which figure was wrong? Opening. Balance. No. Ye hoto gaya. 
क्लोजिंग स्टॉक बिकम्स ओपनिंग स्टॉक ठीक है वन इंपॉर्टेंट फिगर इज रॉन्ग बिकॉज ऑफ क्लोजिंग स्टॉक विच इंपॉर्टेंट फिगर इज गेटिंग अफेक्टेड विच वन मेरे को सुनने में नहीं आया आई डिट गेट इट सो ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड बिल्कुल सही मार्च फाइव का ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट रॉन्ग है क्यों बिकॉज स्टॉक वॉज रॉन्ग तो करेक्टेड जीपी कितना होगा थर्टीन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड हा इफ यू इंक्रीज योर क्लोजिंग स्टॉक योर जीपी ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस ना so yes, because sir. because march 5 closing stock was understated march 5 gp was understated so aapka correct amount of gross profit is 13 lakh 40 plus 10 clear how many of you understood write the word you for understood so closing stock impact adjustment by it is at two place first closing stock itself you to add so that becomes next year opening stock and it has impacted gp also because when you understand the closing stock your gp is understated unnecessarily very good everybody has understood chinita se leke iman si mohit pratyush aditi and of course all all those who are with me theek aage value of good salvage on 31st july 3 lakh first fire value of good salvage on 31st november 3 lakh second fire The expenses of salvage operations were twenty thousand on thirty first July, ten thousand on ten thirty uh, November. This is firefighting expense. Whatever loss of stock we calculate, to that we increase that expense. मतलब कि हमारा loss increase हो जाता है when we spend money on firefighting. So yeah, after the fire, there. the firm had taken out the insurance policy. कितने की six lakh at the beginning of the year. at the time of receiving the insurance claim on 31st july no additional premium was paid for the restoration of insurance policy to its original amount i'll come to this line so average close how do i start so do kaise karu technically i don't have to uh, any way screenshot lena hai le lo those who want to take the photo please take it take the screenshot how do i start i don't have to prepare last year's trading account because directly gp etc given seedha mai kahan se start karu take march 3 march 4 march 5 gp ratio then based on the gp ratio look at the best gp for the current year then i'll concentrate On the first fire, क्या बोला मैंने? First fire पर concentrate करेगा. And I'll complete the sum. But my second fire, come on. So I'll be start कर दो मेरे साथ. GP ratio of all those past years. चलो start करें. calculation of gp ratios of past years kya anybody calculated for march 3 yes sir 
12 percent. 12 lakh. Then March 4. March five may be careful. Why we have to be careful? This 10,000 is for what? So, 12, 8, 10, what do you want to say? They're fluctuating. Average GP ratio. Is taken. In the other file. Okay, then we'll prepare memorandum trading account. First day of the year to the date of first fire. I'll concentrate on the first fire. Shall Now, my mother num trading account. First day of the year to the date of fire. My mother num trading account. One four five. To thirty first July. You know the usual transactions are the opening stock. plus undervalued stock probably what is the GP ratio we are going to use in the year of fire 10% but maybe many samasya start hone wali hai in the current year in the beginning only 
आप देखो कॉस्ट प्लस प्रॉफिट इक्वल टू सेल इफ माई प्रॉफिट इज टेन कॉस्ट नाइनटी तो जीपी टेन परसेंट है अब मेरा सेलिंग प्राइस ट्वेंटी परसेंट से इंक्रीज होता है कॉस्ट तो कॉस्ट ही रहता है कॉस्ट डजेंट चेंज तो जीपी तो चेंज हो जाता है वी के नॉट यूज डायरेक्टली टेन परसेंट नाइन इट इज थर्टी परसेंट क्या करते हैं याद करिए वुड लाइक टू गिव मी द आंसर चेक में लिखो मुझे टेन परसेंट जीपी यूज करना है बस अदरवाइज आई गो रॉन्ग क्या करें मुझे टेन परसेंट जीपी यूज करना है व्हाट शुड आई डू सो वेन एवर इन द करंट ईयर परचेस प्राइस हैव चेंज्ड सेल प्राइस हैज चेंज व्हाट विल बी डूइंग यस वेरी गुड प्रत्युष इज फास्टेस्ट एंड अदर ट्वेंटी फोर पीपल हैव गिवन मी द करेक्ट आंसर वेन एवर इन द करंट ईयर परचेस प्राइस सेल प्राइस चेंजेस वॉट यू डू वॉट यू डू राइट सेल सेट ओल्ड प्राइस As if the sale price has not gone up. Convert at old price. ये important point था. कितने लोग को ये समझ में आया है? So what is old price? So sales कितना है? Current year में sales. April to July, fifty lakh. So what is my sales at old price? What is my sales at old price? Last year, hundred plus twenty percent extra. So, ये one twenty percent है. Forty one lakh sixty six 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 seven. ये correct है. How many of you understood you? Why word type करो? Yes, understood. Why? Why? Amount. And the concept, amount and the concept. So whenever in the current year, purchase price changes, sale price changes, you must convert at the old price. The advantage now we can use the GDP. And हमको करना क्या है? हमको तो एक ही काम करना है ना? In at cost, watchman का काम, out at cost. तो पता है? Fifty lakh. Included two thing, extra of current year twenty percent and GP of last year. So extra of twenty percent current year count हो गया and GP तो हम इधर लिख ही देंगे. So ultimately my issue मैंने out cost पर convert कर दिया है. Fifty lakh included to profit current year का twenty percent, last year का ten. So current year का twenty percent हटा दिया, last year का ten percent इधर लिख दिया. So ultimately my issue is at cost. चलिए आगे. What are the other transaction? Opening stock. Uh, तो सर nine lakh ninety thousand है ना? नहीं ना क्यों? So thirteen forty तो GP दिया. So भी वापस बोलिए. Sir thirteen lakh forty thousand तो GP दिया. Oh sorry sorry sorry. Yeah yeah you are right ना huh? sorry. ये तो GP था stock ऊपर है. इधर इधर है. You are very right ना. Huh? स्टॉक इधर है 990 प्लस 10 या 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 मैं मिस्टेक से लिखा है यही है ना यू वांट टू से दिस ओनली नो यस सर बिल्कुल बिल्कुल नो इट्स माय बिल्कुल वे राइट वो हम सीक्वेंस में पढ़ेंगे तो पकड़ जाते थे बट यू आर राइट स्टार्ट करें सो एडजस्टमेंट वन मैंने लिख दिया अभी अभी ओपनिंग स्टॉक 990 प्लस 10 परचेस 3560 है आउट ऑफ दैट फर्नीचर 10 कर दो सेल्स 50 लैक्स बाद में ये तो सेकंड फायर का है आई एम नॉट टचिंग नाउ दिस इज सेकंड फायर आई एम नॉट टचिंग नाउ अभी का हो गया सेलिंग प्राइस हो गया अंडर वैल्यूएशन हो गया सेल्वेज दैट्स इट 
So let's write it. Purchases thirty five sixty. Con closing stock. Total career. Sir, eight lakh nikle ko. What's the balancing figure? Eight lakh. यस आगे बढ़िए Add firefighting expense. Me lo. Ye loss of stock hai. But to extinguish fire also I had to spend some money. Dekho idha likha hai. Somebody it is given. Nei isme ki nahi hai. Isi mein na ha. The expenses of the salvage operation were twenty thousand. The expenses of salvage operation means firefighting expense. So, what to merely expense here and loss here. So, what is my total loss? How many of you understood firefighting expense? If you understood, write the word F. If you are not understood, write the word N. Firefighting expense. If you have understood, write the word F. Okay, <coughs> because that's an expenditure for me. Calculate the claim. Calculation of insurance claim. क्यों उनको एवरेज क्लोज यूज करनी पड़ रही है वो भी लिख ही देता है ना
under insurance. Tell me, get mad. Three lakh ninety thousand. Three lakh ninety thousand. Very good. Very good. Very right. Do you think this sum is fully over? No. This one more fire. This one more fire. Once done up to this, let me know what do I do next. Start current. So next trading account. Next one. Memorandum trading account. What date to what date now? The last file was 31st July. So abhiye kab se hoga? 1st August. To the date of file 30 November. Opening stock. Kapka. Opening stock. Kapka. Obviously, first August. Ka. Kya bata sakte ye kitna hoga? Chat me likho. Don't give me all the answer. Video dekne wala soch ke answer bolna. Shur log jaldi jaldi kame me wrong bol dete. I don't say shur nahi samajte. I only say. Trying to give me early answer, they go wrong. Mene bola na, trying to give me early answer, they go wrong. 23 students, yes, na, sab ne answer diya wrong hai. All the 23 students who have given me the answer are wrong. Starting fastest, first, Pratius, Mohit, all are wrong. All are wrong, I say. Mene abhi toh sentence puta bhi nahi kiya. Ki jaldi jaldi dene me wrong ho jata hai. And you hurriedly tried to be fastest first and went wrong. Pratyush. Abhi tak sahi job nahi aya hai. Get me the opening stock. Oh no. 11.90 kaise ho sakta hai Pratyush. Mohit gave me 11.90. No Mohit. Oh to 11.90 ka to mein dimag bhai kuch nahi bait raha hai. No. Come on. Are you looking for MBA? Ah, the answer is right. Aya. Starting from Pratyush, the answer is right. Look, this was 8 lakh to before the fire ka stock. Tha na. Then there was a fire. Most of the goods burned. How much was not burned? That will be my opening stock. Tell me how much is it in the mic? Mike, me bolo kitna? 
three lakh salvage. Yes. यही बनेगा ना हाँ फोर्टी सिक्स मिनट पीछे बोलिए आगे देन परचेस परचेस बताओ Purchase from first August to thirty November fifty fifty, but out of that goods of one lakh five received after the fire ten December. Tell me what do I do? Less. Mike, me bolo. Less one lakh five thousand. Yeah, one lakh five. Hata do. Take it out because watchman did not get it. Watchman ka role follow karna. Adjustment four five. Watchman ka role. Watchman did not get goods of fifty lakh fifty thousand. He got only forty nine lakh forty five thousand. ठीक है. Sales from first to thirty November sixty sixty, of which इसी के अंदर sale on returnable basis one lakh है. No intimation from the customer received in respect of sixty percent. लगता है forty percent customer already said yes. Sixty percent that approval period has not gone. Confirmation has not come. बट सिक्सटी सिक्सटी के अंदर वन लैक ऑलरेडी है हाँ द टोटल सेल जो सिक्सटी सिक्सटी है दैट ऑलरेडी इंक्लूड रिटर्नेबल गुड्स ऑफ वन लैक वॉचमैन का रूल बोलो और क्या करूँ बोलो इजीएस्ट ट्रीटमेंट इजीएस्ट बुक कीपिंग वाला ट्रीटमेंट नहीं फायर क्लेम वाला ट्रीटमेंट वॉचमैन वाला ट्रीटमेंट टेल मी वॉट डू आई डू सर नथिंग यस डू नथिंग बिकॉज गुड्स एव गोन आउट वॉचमैन एज गिवन मी सलाम जाओ गुड्स बाहर जाने दो Whether later on customer approves, disapproves, मुझे क्या करना है Factory से तो गया है Without exception, it should come at cost. क्योंकि ये sale price है तो already I am going to write the GP. Yes, सही है no effect. But prices क्या लिखूँ अभी मैं? ये ये revised price है ना? तो मुझे sale क्या price पर करना पड़ेगा? Original. पता है ना old price करना पड़ेगा? क्योंकि ट्वेंटी परसेंट करंट में प्राइसेस है गोन आप सो परचेसिस नॉट रिसीव So total sale is sixty sixty. Or one twenty percent. क्या लिखा इंक्लूड सेंट ऑन अप्रूवल वेदर अप्रूव और नॉट नॉट रिलेवेंट गुड्स गॉन आउट आई थिंक सो इतना ही है बाद में आगे मत जाना मेरे साथ में रहना आई थिंक सो इतना ही है एडजस्टमेंट फोर इज ओवर फाइव इज ओवर दैट्स इट Get me the GP ratio and complete the sum.
GP ten percent है ना GP is ten percent Seven lakh rupees closing stock. Seven lakh, I know. Yes. So total stock sell batch kitna hai? You also three lakh hai. Yeah. Any firefighting expense? Yes, Four lakh mera loss of stock ho gaya. Plus five. Firefighting expense also had to suffer. So ultimately, my loss suffered. How much? Seven lakh. Yeah. So this is my loss suffered. ठीक है? अब calculation of insurance claim यहाँ थोड़ा दिमाग लगाना पड़ेगा. Calculation of insurance claim. क्या बता सकते हैं? What was the policy amount? क्या बता सकते हैं? What is the policy amount? Policy amount kitna tha? Six lakh tha. Ab dhyan se sunna. Dhyan se sunna, mein jo bol raha hun. Don't write and listen, important point hai. You know, I took the policy on the first day. I paid premium. Amount mein aise hi bol tha hun. Set 25,000. Pata hai, policy amai sa one year ki hoti hai. File claim policy is always of one year. And insurance company said, all right, pay me 25,000. May aapka kaha takka loss suffer kar dega, reimburse kar dega? Bataiye. After tax. Un log mein. Hamare saath agreement. Insurance company said, say you pay 25,000 premium. And over the period of one year, up to six lakh loss, I'll reimburse. Up suppose a fire ho gaya during the year, and already apne 390 ka claim to kar diya hai. Already apne 390 ka claim to kar diya hai. Ab kya lagta hai? Next fire mein insurance company mujhe six lakh ka loss reimburse kar degi? No sir. No sir. Soch ke bolo. 210 का करेंगे। Definitely वो उन्होंने क्या बोला है? मैंने आपसे 25,000 रुपीस प्रीमियम देके कॉन्ट्रैक्ट किया था कि इन वन ईयर अप टू सिक्स लेक लॉस आई बिल रिम्बर्स। यदि आपने ऑलरेडी 390 का क्लेम कर दिया है, तो आपको ओनली 210 का रिम्बर्स कर देगी। तो योर पॉलिसी अमाउंट विल रिड्यूस्ड टू 210। 
से हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस समझो आपके लिए भी एक काम की बात है सपोज आपने ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड प्रीमियम भरा है फॉर वन ईयर हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस एंड इंश्योरेंस कंपनी ने सिक्स लैख का पॉलिसी दिया है वॉट डज इट मीन इंश्योरेंस कंपनी बोलते हैं यू पे मी प्रीमियम ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एंड अप टू रुपी सिक्स लैख आपका मेडिकल बिल आई रिमर्स टू यू इन वन ईयर टाइम आप फिफ्टीन ऑगस्ट को बीमार हो गए हॉस्पिटलाइज हो गए इंश्योरेंस कंपनी ने आपका थ्री नाइनटी रिमर्स कर दिया अब नवंबर में वापस रिमर्स आई मीन वापस हॉस्पिटलाइज हुआ तो क्या वापस सिक्स लैख देंगे बताओ 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 नहीं टूटे नहीं देंगे ना बाद में तो तो रियल लाइफ में ये बात याद रखना बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है वेदर इट इज अल्थ इंश्योरेंस और इट इज अ फायर इंश्योरेंस यदि आपने पहला एक बार क्लेम कर दिया तो पॉलिसी रिड्यूस हो जाती है तो यू आर स्ट्रॉन्गली एडवाइस टू पे फर्दर प्रीमियम बाद में एंड इंक्रीज योर पॉलिसी वरना आप अंडर इंश्योर हो जाएंगे और ये बात इधर बताया भी है क्या किया है कि एट द टाइम ऑफ रिसीविंग क्लेम फर्स्ट क्लेम नो एडिशनल प्रीमियम वॉज पेड फॉर रिस्टोरिंग द इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसी टू ओरिजिनल अमाउंट हमने नहीं भरा है तो हमारी पॉलिसी कम हो गया है हम अंडर इंश्योर हो गए हैं तो बी वेरी केयरफुल हाँ रियल लाइफ में बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट बात सीखा है आपने आपको रियल लाइफ में हाउ टू कैलकुलेट केम काम का नहीं है बट ये कॉन्सेप्ट काम का है कि एक क्लेम के बाद आपकी पॉलिसी कम हो जाएगी सो बी वेरी केयरफुल इन द रियल लाइफ वेदर इट इज अ मेडिकल हेल्थ क्लेम प्रीमियम और इट इज अ फायर प्रीमियम चलिए लिखो ओरिजिनल पॉलिसी अमाउंट सिक्स लैख लेस claim already received for first fire पॉलिसी अमाउंट लेफ्ट एट द टाइम ऑफ सेकंड फायर ठीक है अभी जैसे करते वैसे ही करना देखो आप कोई बड़ी कंपनी के सीएफओ होंगे और यू योर सेल्फ विल बी एंटरप्राइन यू आर आई होप यू रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है लेट स्टार्ट जैसे हम लोग क्लेम करते हैं वैसे ही कर दीजिए जैसे हम लोग क्लेम करते हैं वैसे ही करो बड़ी टोटल स्टॉक सेवन लैख देन Hence, under insurance, सफर लॉस सफर वर्ड लिखता हूं टू अवॉइड कंफ्यूजन क्योंकि ये प्रॉब्लम है लॉस ऑफ स्टॉक अलग है एंड लॉस सफर अलग है फोर टेन
Tell me. What's your answer? One twenty three. One twenty three. Yeah. Finished.